What's up guys, Mike here from Things We Play, and we are taking a look at The Consuming Shadow. Uh, this is by uh, Yahtzee Croshaw, or, or Ben, I suppose, if you want to give him his real name, who is the chap behind the Zero Punctuation reviews over on The Escapist, so you've probably heard the name before there. If not, don't worry, I've just heard good things about this game. Uh, this is the beta for The Consuming Shadow, so it's still a work in progress, uh, but it sounds pretty interesting. Uh, it's described as a procedurally generated horror adventure game with a Lovecraftian theme and gameplay inspired by such things as FTL, Eternal Darkness, and the board game Arkham Horror. Some big names there. So, uh, yeah. Pretty curious. Let's just dive straight in and see what happens. Shadow is trying to enter our world. One of the ancients. The runes confirm it. I don't know which one. All I know is that they arrive at Stonehenge three days from now. One hope remains, the ritual of banishment. Four runes, encountered at Stonehenge, will close the gateway. Trouble is, I don't know what the ritual is. If I investigate the strange events heralding the Shadow, maybe I could piece it together. That's all I have. A maybe. Shoot myself! Yeah. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh. Okay. Well, part one of my player's guide to the consuming shadow would be when presented with the option to shoot yourself at the beginning. Don't. Maybe... Maybe take the red pill. Or would that be the blue pill? In the vastness of your multiverse, of the multiverse rather, your efforts leave their mark. Didn't kill any minions, didn't find any clues, didn't find any items, didn't complete any dungeons, didn't defeat a shadow, and didn't go insane. I did precisely dick. Let's try that again. Begin journey, I think is probably the option we want to take. Okay, 72 hours left. Scary ominous post-it note saying don't look back on the dashboard mirror. Oh, I can look over here. Hang on. A needle. What's that? Got a needle and some stuff. My studies have shown that three distinct ancient ones are currently active. Da 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 da. Okay. My little like culty voodoo book. Freaky shit in it. Hundred percent supplies. Inject illegal drugs to temporarily restore sanity. My sanity is fine. Thanks very much. It's four o'clock in the morning though. We've only got 72 hours, so let's go somewhere. Oh, cool. It's like the UK. Um, Old Church. Waterby. Stonesley. Finsport. Uh, now, I have loaded this game up once before, but only dipped in for like 30 seconds. Uh, and these names were different. So, uh, that's interesting. Alright, so some of them have got red X's and some of them have got green dots. Let's go to a green dot. Let's go to Waterby. 55 miles. We can do that. Okay. Oh, cool. A little like paranormal activity there. 71 hours left. Reached our destination. Well, let's go into town. Town is calm and peaceful, oblivious of the shadow. My heart feels pained and heavy as I am confronted with what we stand to lose if I fail in my mission. Oh man, okay. Find supplies, find hospital, or look for work. Uh, well, we had 100% supplies, didn't we? We checked, so. I don't need a hospital. I could look for work. Let's look for work. I'm hearing early reports of costumed hooligans in Finsport, which give me an ominous feeling. A reward of £16 is being offered if they can be dealt with within 13 hours. Finsport's in 63 miles away. Uh, 13 hours just to, to deal with some costumed hooligans? Yeah, why not? I accept the task and add a destination marker to my roadmap. Alright, back to the car. Finsport. I'm going to Finsport to kick some ass. Sixty-nine hours left, and I've received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. Managed to skim three quid off the week's budget for you. Don't spend it all on sweets. Uh, okay. Getting some money. Sixty-eight hours left. Finsport, here we come. 
As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valiant effort to fight them off, but the struggle could go either way. I ready my gun and prepare to lend my effort to the resistance. Oh, okay. We're actually shooting these buggers. And there's only 68 hours left. Oh, cool. Thankfully, my small contribution has been enough to turn the tide, and I'm able to give advice on future defence. The local authorities are grateful, and when I none too discreetly mention the posted reward, seem happy to pay it promptly. Sweet. Money. That was easy. I got to shoot things and, and move a bit. Uh, okay. Let's, um... What's, what's, what's the deal with the red X's? Why oh, I can't go to them. But I can go to Old Church, even though it's a red X, but I can't go to Burton, is that what you're saying? I don't know, maybe I can go to these places. Let's go to a red X and see what happens. 67 hours. What I believe for a moment to be some kind of hideous amorphous being has turned out to be a mob in the middle of the road engaged in violence. The participants are fuzzy, but when are the human or human minions of the shadow, an intervention may be in order. Uh, do I intervene? It is a mob. And they're already engaged in violence. Let's, let's intervene. The altercation appears to be between a small group of loutish young men and another prone individual whom they are kicking and spitting on. One of these instructs me not to interfere, stating that they have caught one of them. I can't get a clear look at the victim. See the many attacking legs. Hmm. Let's make them stop. I'm curious. Having gone between them and their sport, the thugs turn their attention to me. They work off their fr frustrations for a few minutes before growing bored with my refusal to cry out and going about their business. Their victim thankfully appears to be fully human. He turns down my offer of a ride, but is grateful enough to hand me all the money in his wallet. Forty-four pounds in all. Before limping off into the night. Okay. Yeah, he probably did alright then. Sixty-five hours. Let's enter the town. This town is in pandemonium, in the most literal sense of the word. There are monsters openly attacking people in the streets. There's so much screaming. The roads are loaded with cars desperate to escape. The shadow is being uncharacteristically brazen, but it should make things all the easier to identify the source of its influence here. Oh, this doesn't sound good at all, does it? Well, uh, let's have a look. I managed to narrow down the source of the hordes to an approximately distasteful looking building. Oh no, appropriately disfaceful looking building. Possibly an unfinished housing project. I can look up and see monstrosities in the wings. The yeah. Investigate further. Use WSD and cursor keys. Or arrow buttons to move. All right. Oh, I'm considering abandoning this place. The shadows doing so will weigh heavily on my mind, I know. No, I want to stay. Didn't mean to walk. Find and exterminate the local leader of the minions. This is weird, I wasn't expecting this. Um, creepily walking around. I'll shift to run. <laughs> Click inside the room to fire your gun. <coughs> oh man, it spat some, some dirty stuff at me. What was that all about? There's a dented old cash box here containing around five pounds and change. Oh, that's not bad. Help, I've been imprisoned by the cult of something, Xoth. They locked me in a filthy oubliette. I can hear them cursing some enemy god, chanting crazy. I think they're killing people up there. Hmm. Okay, need better handwriting. What's this? It's nothing. There's a door there, so anything else over here? Oh, there's another door. Oh, it's proper maze-like. Um, can I do anything to that vent? No. Okay. Oh, my notes are flashing. Why are my notes flashing? Kthoth is the enemy of the god identified for the KZ rune. Okay. Ah, oh, what is it? What are you? What are you? Oh man, I can only... I don't like that at all. I can't really do anything to attack him because I can't seem to shoot. Leaving the room with monsters alive reduces your sanity. Okay. Uh, something about my anxiety getting worse. My body lies at my feet. The feet are raw with blisters. 
They must have been fleeing from something with no apparent concern for the pain. It's just a generally unpleasant place. Um, okay. Nothing more worth taking. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Well, let's just continue on. Can I reload? Because I've got no ammo. It's not good. Oh, these things are disgusting. Excuse me. Just tap him on the shoulder. Excuse me. Do you mind just laying down for me? What have you found? Two unfired hollow point bullets that appear to have been hastily concealed here. Sweet. So bullets seem to be pretty careful. Need to be careful. Use ammo buttons on number keys to switch ammo. Yeah, okay. What's that I mean? It means I need to blink. Okay. Oh, the animosity is rooted in the suffering reportedly endured by the worshipper of cloth while captured by the cult of Cho. Cho worshippers seem to tell the other story the other way around. Found a clue. There we go. So we've got two factions. Two warring sides, as it were. What is that? Some sort of symbol. I believe it to be a curse or intentional. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bugger. Ah, oh, damn it. Do you know what? I probably didn't want to use that ammo. Um, but I was... shit. Uh, three quid, I suppose. But, yeah, that was trigger finger stuff. Believe to be a curse or intentional blasphemy. Spiteful direction of the subject of the room. Okay. Doesn't make me feel great. What does this do? Oh. As I invoked the room, I felt a wave of answering energy from the wall. There's a wave of recognition I found strangely reassuring. Oh, I gained sanity. Cool. Didn't know at all that that was what going to happen, but uh, you know, seems like a, a positive, a positive thing. Let's back out of here then. Continue on. Oh no. I'm. Oh, hang on. There is a map up the top there. That's good because I am totally lost. So why was this one yellow? Was it because there was something in here I could interact with? Is that what that meant? Yes, I think it did. Okay. Another clue. Let's go down to that red room. Which appears to be... Oh no. I've gone the wrong way. Ah, oh, so enemies just seem to randomly... Spawn. Excuse me. Let me tap you. Get down. No, he didn't drop anything. Alright, through this door. And then... Through this door. And now we're in a red room. No one knows what that means. It means we're in the room with the fucking sludge monster. What the hell are you? Can I get past him? There's nothing else in it. Maybe I've just got to take him down, but I don't want to die. See, I can't seem to be able to... He's too low. So oh no, it's alright, I've done it. It's all right, it's all right. What did we get? My recording device picked up the sh chanting of some kind of mantra intended to ward off evil. It's hard to make out, but the third part definitely sounded like T. Okay. Started to update the ritual, and now we can leave. Can escape the dungeon now and sneak back to the car, but it'll take about an hour. Warp. Yeah. Make it so. The leader dead, only its minions throughout the town remain. Fortunately, the remaining townsfolk seem to have the matter in hand. I can leave them to the rebuilding their lives. Okay, back to the car. We're doing some good. We're doing some good, but I do need some health, so maybe I need to go and find a hospital. Um, let's go down to Sawhill and investigate there to see if there's uh, anything that will help us out. Because I, I don't want to die. 64 hours, and I've got another text message. Who keeps texting me? You've received text from an unknown number. Are you the one spreading stupid lies about alien invasions? I believe in Bill's Gate and everything's fine here. Stop upsetting people. <laughs> Probably just mum. Um, 63 hours left, and we're at Saw Hill. In we go. Calm and peaceful, I like it. I believe it's the shadow. Heart feels pained and heavy as I'm confronted with what I stand to lose. Okay, find the hospital. 
Discredited doctor operating a backstreet surgery here. They will heal me without questions as long as I have the cash. 86 cash, buy illegal drugs for 20. I've bought a syringe. Back to town. Let's look for work. I had a syringe already, I maybe didn't need to buy one. I'm hearing early reports of costume hooligans in Saxhope. Saxhope, it's a long way. Uh, I'll look for another one. I've already dealt with hooligans once. Supplies need to be delivered to the town of Waterby. It's not a pressing matter, but important. It needs to be there within 13 hours. Job page £8. Yeah, we'll do that. We could do that. I know the address down. Resolved Heather as soon as I'm finished here. Let's go. Let's use a syringe. Inject illegal drugs to temporarily restore sanity. Sure. Oh, that only did my sanity? Uh, it's not my sanity I'm, I've got an issue with. Uh, oh, that's alright. I've just now used my supplies. Okay, so the syringe is for sanity. Supplies are for health. Alright. Should get some more supplies at some point. Let's go to Waterby. Deliver. Deliver our goods. Another text message. Crikey. Are you the X-Files paranormal investigator guy? What, Fox Mulder? That's so cool. It's five pounds. I just got texted money. You can't text money as far as I'm aware, but that's pretty cool. A police siren jerks me into full alertness. There's no ignoring it. They want me to stop. Can I allow myself to be delayed at this point? Then I have 13 hours to deliver this. Yeah, I'll pull over. Or shall I outrun the... Nah, let's just pull over. Police car pulled in behind me, and the single officer got out. I watched him in the rear view mirror as he sauntered to the driver's side window, and stared innocently into the middle distance as he leant down and requested to see my license. He inspects my ID, then asks me if I'm aware that one of my tail lights is broken. I lie and say no, whereupon he lets me off with a warning on the condition that I address the issue. Relief pours from me as he steps away. A close call. 58 hours left, then we're in Waterby. Okay, packages received by a flustered man dressed not dissimilarly to myself. He's agitated enough that I'm forced to awkwardly remind him of the agreed payment before he can run off, whereupon he throws a handful of notes at me and disappears into the shadows. I'll take it, though. Right, we could do some more supplies. Let's go to Billsgate. 6.30 in the evening. 25th of August. Hmm. And it's 2015, so I suppose maybe you could text money. <laughs> See, a text from a family member. Okay. Please listen to me. None of it is real. There are no monsters. You had a breakdown. The doctors can help. And we miss you. Okay. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. I feel hot and nauseous. And my hands aren't still shaking. Hopefully it will pass. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Let's get a Bill's Gate. Feel quite buoyed by the clean air. The people are friendly enough. It's going to be a matter of time before this town catches the shadow's attention. Right, let's get some supplies. Oh, I have to buy them. Okay, stab proof vest. That seems quite good. And bullet. Yeah, let's get a stab proof vest and bullets. Plenty of bullets. Don't need armor piercing, I think. And let's do some more work. 54 hours to go, why not? Package. Nah, I don't want to do a package again. Let's look once more. £11? Nah. Costume milligans? £15? Nah, one more. Strange events. Here we go. Reported around the area of Saxhope. Local authorities are offering £28 in payment to anyone willing to investigate. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go. Oh. Just wanted to say that I love you. And I'll support you to the end. I won't tell anyone where you've gone. Okay. That made me feel a little bit better. Well, I'm only off to Saxhope. That's all. Lovely Saxhope. Turn it back. Well, I believe for a moment to be some kind of hideous amorphous being has turned out to be a mob in the middle of the moat. Okay, right. Ah, stop and intervene. A 
going to make him stop because it worked last time. The victim thankfully appears to be fully human. 45 pounds. Look at that. All in a day's work. I'm a hero. 49 hours left. 48. Welcome to Sax Hope. Brought to the problematic area and told the payment will be made once the problem is dealt with. I don't think the locals fully understand what kind of presence is in their town. But they showed me relief and gratitude as I made my way inside. Find and exterminate the large creature bewitching the town. Okay, we got bullets. Uh, we're alright, we're alright. We'll find them. Alright, okay, so there's hedge like doorways. Got to search the trash can. Symbol resembling stick man, the head missing, and one arm missing. Okay. Nope. Stick man with the head missing and one arm missing. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Back out here. Let's go back to this one. Ah, back off. Okay, there's a rune. Let's do our thing. How did I do it before? Oh, it was this thing, wasn't it? There we go. So that, that makes my sanity better, but so far, I feel like my sanity's been pretty much alright. It's not... I've not had much to worry about. Doing little jobs for people. Checking out... Oh shit. Oh, uh, why'd you have to do that? Why'd you have to do that? Ah, uh, right, okay, let's keep going this way. Oh, yeah, we can keep going that way. Another bin to look in. God of madness. Nice. I mean, is this going to do some freaky eternal darkness shit? Because uh, I'm particularly susceptible to that. That was, that was nice, whatever that was. Um, there we go. Three armor piercing bullets. Nice. Another one of these things. And my sanity's alright. Okay. Okay, back round here. And we'll skedaddle this way. A different rune. I don't like that noise. There we go. More sanity. I'm like the most sane person on the planet. Nothing phases me. Nothing. Not even you, sir. Not even you. Oh, bloody hell. You don't want to die, do you? That's creepy. That's horrible animation. Check that out. That is disgusting. Can I kill you? I'm a bit worried you're going to kill me now. Um, I'm off. See you later. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Oh, there is nowhere else I can go. Oh no, that is not good. I died. Oh dear. Um. Well, here's how I did. Level 3. So, um. Yeah, what can we say? That is very interesting. Um, give it a go yourself. There's a link in the uh, description of this video for you to try it out. 
It's uh, that seems that seems pretty cool. I wonder what happens after the uh, your hours countdown. Seems like that would take a little while to happen, but uh, yeah, I liked that. That's intriguing. Um, I didn't see enough sanity stuff though. Can we? Should we just? Oh, look at this. Okay, I've got upgrade tokens if I want to go in again. Um, so I must be picking locks at some point. Car speed as well. Sanity. Let's let's just jump in again. Why not? And see, should we just see if we can go mental? What do these X's mean? Are they bad places? I take it. Let's let's go. Right. No, I want to go not to Castleby. I want to go down here to Alton. Drive. Let's try and lose our sanity. Let's see what happens. What can we do? How do we lose sanity? Just just go mental. Just uh, you know, not do things. Ignore family members. We're gonna go mental. Right, let's enter the town. Not seen a single human. It's all silent. That sounds like a bad place. I feel like I'm waiting for it all to shatter. For the shadow of the burst. Okay, investigate further. Condemned building. Just off the main shopping district. Massive cars are parked around it. As if everyone has suddenly decided to get there en masse. Find a door. Looks as though there was some kind of insane skirmish. Skirmish. Eh. If I was still a naive man, I might wonder if there were survivors to rescue us. It stands. I can only hope to discern something useful from the remains. Let's go. Alright. We're in. We want to go crazy. Show me some insanity. I'm already holding shift to run. I suppose we could let's search. Red, red, all around me red, inside my head and scratching. And the walls, I can't face the red anymore. I open up my veins to let the red out. That is a nice clear. <coughs> Get lost. <coughs> Disgusting. You disgust me. Very old. Ammo. Really, I'm just looking to go mad. Okay, found that clue before. We're gonna ignore the runes because uh, we know they help us. Oh, that's not good. Look, one of the missing townspeople, dead for sure. Doesn't bode well for the rest. But I have to keep looking. Did he kill himself there? Out of madness. Maybe we'll find out. Right click to move. And left click to slam a jam. Alright, so far so good. I've lost a little bit of sanity there, so. Here's another bloke. Okay. Alright. Not another one. Come on. Come on. It's time to... Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What are they? What are they? Okay, we're going to go up here. Are there any more dead bodies around? Damn, I don't have any ammo. Um, no, don't hit me. You are a pain... Pain in the ass. Uh, right, I might as well check what's in there. Purple is the colour of love or lust. And we know that red is madness. Uh, what's in this room? Another body. I have to leave. I'm hoping the other residents have as much sense. Okay, so he doesn't want to be here. We're going to go back to the car. And we're going to warp, because that's what you do in the future. The Red God is not the God attempting to invade. I know you're reading this, scholar. 
your actions will have far further reaching consequences than you could possibly imagine. Okay, so just that was just in my car in a nice nice way. Let's uh let's use some supplies. So the red god is the god of madness, but that's not the the god that's invading. Interestingly enough. Dinhill. Off we go. Investigate. A small country church where a number of locals have taken shelter. Yeah, let's go in. These people have no understanding of what's happening to the world outside, but they're determined to defy it. See, I gain sanity. I keep gaining sanity. I want to lose my mind. Alright. Into Dinhill we go. Calm and peaceful. I like these places. Um, find a hospital. Refill my med kit. Buy illegal drugs. Back to town. Find supplies. For a locksmith's kit. Oh, I don't have enough. Might as well have some bullets there while we're here. Back to town. Look for work. Book needs to be delivered to Hersgate. £25? No. I'm not going to work for £25. I want more money. 32 for an urgent investigation. Within six hours. Yep, we'll have that. Let's go. Are you the X-Files guy? Yeah, that's me. Getting some money. Alright, okay, where are we going? We're going to Water Church. Let's go. God, I could imagine you playing this game for a very long time. Um, just sort of, quite easily, just carrying on and on. Um. Okay, use ammo, yep, yep, yep. Find and exterminate a large creature. We can do this. I mean, that's what I do. I find and exterminate large creatures. Another dead body. Not good. Their body was so horribly diseased that a violent bursting of swellings and boils appear to have proven fatal. Nice. What's the deal here? What is that thing? What on earth is that? Hit it as many times as you can. Oh no. Oh. I thought I'd killed it, but it was just... Come on. Down you go. Okay. Ugh. Okay, this is interesting. I've got a spell, it would seem, that induces visions. Um, can I use that spell? Alright, let's go back to the car. More money. Love it. Uh, right, where are we going? Oh, so Alt Alton's now black. Let's get a Stonehenge. Why not? Well, I mean, we're nearby, just taking the site. It's quite a nice tourist attraction. Oh, I need, I need to nap. I'm just gonna ignore it. My car drifted into a wall, and a dream ended abruptly. My front wheels is now acting up. Damn it! Crash the car. Stonehenge. Look at it. What a marvelous henge.
Heavy stuff. Heavy stuff, but let's enter the tunnels. I mean, if we're going to lose our mind anywhere, it's going to be in here, right? Locate the underground summoning chamber and the cast of the ritual of the Okay. This is it. I feel like Indiana Jones. What is that? That's nothing. Okay. Every time we leave a room with a monster in it, we lose some sanity, so that might be the way that we go about losing our mind. It's a corpse here. It's not recognisable. There's another corpse here. This place is bad. More boils. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone's been pretty messed up. There's a door that's locked, uh, but we can... Uh, broke a pick, broke a pick, broke a pick. Okay, my lock picking skills suck. They officially suck. Uh, right, okay, we'll go back up here then. I mean, let's face it, everyone's dead. They're all dead. Why is he even checking them anymore? Okay. Alright. Stuff's happening. <coughs> the screen went funny. We all saw that. What was that all about? Was that because of my sanity? Because it stopped now. Or was it that room? I'm gonna die. Okay. Can we just alright? Alright. Okay. Freaky noises now. Um, and there's a dot that keeps appearing. You keep seeing that these dots appear? Where am I? Hang on, I'm, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. I feel hot and nauseous and my hands won't stop shaking. Hopefully it'll pass. I'm worried I'm going to die. Should I go back to the car? Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, it's alright. There's a corpse here. See these spots that keep appearing? I need some health. I'm gonna go back to the car and get some health. Yeah. Uh, injectable drugs are sanity but only temporarily. There we go, supplies. Supplies. That's good. Right, we're gonna go back in. Oh look. The options are turning to shoot myself. Every now and then. Uh oh man, it's pot luck if I hit enter tunnels or not. Enter tunnels. Okay, we're in. We're losing our minds. But we can handle this. We're, you know, we've got a bit of health. We haven't got any bullets. It's not, you know, this isn't scary, right? We're alright. We're all here. It's a little unsettling, but... I just feel like it's dangerous if menu options are going to change. No! Oh, thank God. So, we need to go back down. Come along. Lose some more sanity, shall we? Why not? Can lose probably one more bit. Okay, 
Right, we officially, uh, I don't think, have any sanity left. So, we're in the danger zone. But we're alright. The problem is, we're going to die if we get hit. Um, alright, everything here seems alright, yeah. Check that body. These things aren't good. Uh... Everyone's dead. You know everyone's dead. Come on. Stop even looking. I don't want to die, but can you kill him? You did it. You did it. You're a hero. Right, we cannot afford to take any more hits. That's for damn sure. Uh, there's another body. And I can't go. I've got to go back to the car. I've got to. Right. Let's go somewhere. Um. Yeah. Gonna blush on. We're driving on very little sanity now, so will this affect us? Received another text message. I won't lie to you, losing your sanity may be unavoidable, but don't give up. Keep your mind clear for as long as you can. Okay. Someone trying to get my attention. <clears throat> We're going to stop. Uh, he wants me to wind down my window. Okay. He wants to sell me narcotics. Oh, and I've shot myself in the head. And that's madness for you. That's madness. How'd we do? 40 clues out there to find. 200 items. 400, 400 dungeons to complete. That's not bad. I like it. i got to say, I like it. I'm intrigued by it, and I would like to see more. Um... We did try and end this video a little while ago, but we went on. We went on for a little bit more in our adventure. Tried to go mad. Maybe you'll have a better time going mad or saving the day. Uh, remember, if you want to play this game, check the description of this video for a link to download your own copy. Um, and do give us a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Uh, I've been Mike. This has been fun. The Consuming Shadow. I'll see you next time.